Hello, very good morning to you and welcome to this virtual world of Margate built by Planet Coaster and myself. I spent many hours putting all this together. This isn't just Margate, this is Dreamland and Margate all together. So it's early morning, we can see it through different various parts of the day. Just going to take a quick look in the virtual drone. It is just like being in the virtual drone, isn't it? And there you can see Dreamland behind. That is the real focus of attention. That's where I started with it all, with the scenic railway and I worked around that. The scenic railway is a little bit higher than it should be. Uh, before we go back to Dreamland and have a good look around the amusement park, we're going to have a look at Margate itself because I spent a lot of time after I built the park on the seafront area. And as you can see, it's not too dissimilar to the real thing. I was very, very pleased with this. The clock tower is not as good as it's. It's not the same as the original was built. As it's a lot thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. Quick glide along the seafront here. Uh, I've even added the gapped area there with the boards around it and heading towards the Dreamland Cinema Building. That's the Dreamland Cinema Building there. And it looks pretty much like that. All this at night looks even better, I promise you that. It looks fantastic, even if I say so myself. I spent a good deal of time trying to make this look as authentic as possible. And now I've built this all, there's scope for me to make alterations uh, in the future to do a past Margate or Dreamland, how Dreamland once looked back in the 1960s. That's actually on my list to do. There we go, another scan across the seafront there. All those buildings, every single one of them, right the way from the Dreamland building right up to the Flamingo there you see right there at the corner. They are all the correct buildings that I looked at on Google Earth Street View to give me some sort of uh, idea and perspective. There, nothing of this is to scale at all. It's literally a lot of guesswork and just simply using your eye and your, your mind. That's it. So this is, this is the end result of probably how I see Margate. Uh, there is a showboat there and it doesn't look too dissimilar to that. There's a few arcades along there. And we've also got vending machines, grabby grabbers outside, arcade games. There's some great shots though. These will make some great postcards, won't they? Well, this is the best I can make Flamingo look. It looks pretty much like this, the colours anyway. As I said earlier, the clock tower resembles the clock tower, but it's not correct at all. And you know that as soon as you, you look at it, because the original just gets thinner at the top. It starts off large at the bottom and sort of gets a little bit thinner as it gets to the top. It's also got a larger clock, and I couldn't find a larger clock. the seafront arcades and shops, gift shops. It's 
sorry about the jerkiness there it happens when I put on the debut video recorder that's the one I use for the screen capture and the minute I press that everything kind of almost halves in frame rate and uh, sometimes to make up for it I double the speed when I'm showing it back in some areas just to counteract that a little bit more and that's why some things might seem a little bit speeded up so here we are back inside Dreamland Park this ride here is similar to one that's already there except this is a Starship Enterprise and I've tried to put the colours, the same colours that they've got. and the twister, which has been moved to this spot here. And the swinging pendulum in the background. and an on top view of the scenic railway, something you don't often see. I've used all the original sounds from the park. We will be taken right on the scenic railway uh, shortly. Front seat view. This is the, the back end there, all the trees and the dreamland on the hills there. Do have a cheriplane there. This is a little bit more ornate than the one that's actually at dreamland at the moment. And then we see the big wheel and the drop tower and sort of the jets over the back there as well. Here we are, the front seat view of the scenic railway.
and pulling into the station. It's all really an embellishment of the, the original park itself. Nothing's accurate at all, it's just an idea taken from Dreamland as it sits at this point in time. been on the uh, original Starship Enterprise many years ago and I could go on it no problem at all and when I come off I don't feel particularly too well it's just one of those things I would do it and I've done it with a camera before as well now Here's the drop tower. This is quite different than the one in Dream and the Dream One one will twist round. And I think it's more and it's more circular as well. This was the nearest I could find. Also it's one of the smaller ones, so this was the smallest I could find. There's about three or four of these to choose from. And this one was the one that, that was the nearest to it, the nearest in height. So it's got a square frame on this particular one but exactly the same principle, it does exactly the same sort of thing and it's in exactly the same spot I suppose right at the very top I could have actually added a D right to there to customise it just a little bit more Yeah, I would like to work on a, a retro 1960s, 1970s Dreamland because I know how it looks. I can gather photographs. Some I have, some of the are on the internet itself. I can get some ideas and piece it together exactly how it looked. There's a few things there that I'm not sure if I can actually build because they'd have to be built from scratch. But it would be a fun thing to try and do. I'm sure there's a way around it. And here's the giant pendulum. Same colours, different type of design, but similar. Right next to that is the well, you can see the wild mouse next to it. Virtually the same as, well, it's the same as what's in the fun spot. I just rebuilt it and made that one work a little bit better. 
than the one that I built in the fun spot, but more or less the same sort of size, same principle, different colours, and that's the wild mouse there. But we're looking at the pendulum at the moment. It's not open this year, so far it may open later on, I don't know, but so far this year, in 2020, it's its 100th year, so happy birthday Dreamland, happy 100th. It's not been open, except this one is. Yes, it does resemble Dreamland, definitely. So we're going to leave uh, the amusement park now for the time being. We will return on another upload at night time. Hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of Margate and Dreamland. It took me quite a few weeks to build this one. Do subscribe so you're up to date with all my latest uploads. Comment, give it a like. See you all again very soon on YouTube. Cheers.